so today I'm going to show you the sink, shower, and toilet in my van. It's a very, very simple, low-budget setup. I'm going to try to explain everything the best I can. Yeah, let's go to the back. So under the bed back here is where the water tank sits. This is the water tank. It is a 30 gallon tank. I got it on some camping website. I'll link it below. We also put these mats on the floor back here just to make it look a little nicer. And then we have these wooden things next to the water tank just to keep it in place when I'm driving and stuff because I don't want that to be like sliding around. Um, ow, my head. So the water tank has these four corners where things can attach. At the top, I'm gonna connect a hose where I'll be able to fill the tank. It'll just be like a standard hose with a little connector valve. So we have this 3 8 inch braided water tubing right here that connects from the tank into the pipe strainer, the pump, and then the accumulator. The pipe strainer, pump, and accumulator are all the brand SureFlow. I just got them on Amazon and they had good reviews, so... Yeah, so this right here is a SureFlow pump. It's 12 volt, it pumps out three and a half gallons per minute and it has a 45 PSI. And then the thing right next to it right here is a pipe strainer and that just keeps particles out of the pump. So the water pump connects up here to an accumulator and what an accumulator does is it basically just like smooths the water faucet pulsations and it reduces pump cycling and it basically just keeps things quieter. And so the tubing goes back this way and it goes into the sink which I'll show you that now so this is the sink cabinet and it opens like this the sink cabinet and the top is from Ikea and these pipes underneath came with it the pipe goes from the sink drain it goes down and then we got this expandable water drain extension thing and the water just goes straight to the ground so we cut a hole in the van and that goes through and then the water goes to the ground and the reason I decided to do that instead of getting a gray water tank is because most of what I'm going to be doing in the sink is just like rinsing off a dish with a tiny bit of water or washing my hands really quickly. It's not like a ton of water is going to be coming out of the drain. It's just like a little bit here and there, which I feel like is not enough to justify getting a gray water tank, which just takes up a lot more space and you have to worry about draining it all the time. And then there's a pipe right here. This comes from the accumulator in the back and it goes up into the faucet. Because I only have cold water, I don't have hot and cold water. We just blocked this off and made it so no water could leak out of that. So this one pipe here is the only one that's like actively being used. This one kind of just is extra that hangs there. This top piece is also from Ikea. It's just like a ceramic sink thing and we attached it to the cabinet using sealant and then this faucet is from Home Depot. And then above the sink, these are peel and stick tiles and this is just for if water splashes on there. You don't want water to splash on the wood because then it can rot. It's also pretty. It looks like marble and it just makes the van look kind of fancier than it actually is. And then above that, I have a paper towel rack. And over here, I'm really excited about this thing. This is just a, a hand towel holder, but it's like got that little anchor thing and it's like kind of like nautical looking. It's pretty. I like it. So for the shower setup, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this and I didn't want it to take up a lot of space in the van. What I decided on was an outdoor shower. I've lived in cars in the past and I know from experience that I won't be using this shower very often because most of the time, like nine times out of ten, I'm showering at Planet Fitness. So this is more just for the times when I'm far away from a gym or if the gyms are closed because of a pandemic or something or if I'm just camping or whatever. I wanted to have options because contrary to popular belief. I do shower quite often. I like to smell good. I like to be clean and I wanted to make sure that I always had some sort of option. The sun just came out and it's so bright. I want to make sure that I always have an option to be able to take a shower. So between this and the gym, I think I'll be pretty set. So let me show you what it looks like. So basically I got this shower head here on Amazon. It's a shower head that connects to the sink. So this little part here is screwed into the faucet. And then this cord goes for like 10 or 12 feet, I think I can bring it like outside the van. And it attaches to this thing. It has a button, like a stop start button. So I don't have to worry about like wasting water. I can just press the button to have the water stop coming out when I don't need it. I can bring this outside and just like rinse off out here if I'm like sandy from the beach or something. But if I wanna take like a full shower, I wanted to have an option where 
like I can get completely naked and people aren't gonna see me. So I got <laughs> this. And this is a pop-up shower tent. I found it on Amazon under like the camping section. I haven't actually opened it yet until right now. So we're unboxing this together. It's collapsible like this. And then I guess you just pop it up. Just like, whoa. I just scared the horses in the background. It looks like this. And just like a regular like camping tent, you can use the hooks and put it in the ground if you want it to be more secure and not like blow away. If I have this and I want to take a shower, I would just open this. The bottom part just goes straight to the ground so the water would just go down to the ground. Obviously I would use compostable soaps and stuff because environment. The idea here is that I would go in this tent, I would bring this, I would bring my soap, shampoo, whatever. I'll bring you inside, how about that? And I can rinse off, I can wash my hair, I can wash my body, and no one can see me, that's the best part. The last thing I want to show you is my toilet setup. I know I'm gonna get so made fun of for this, but it's okay, I don't care. I know from my experience living in cars that there are public bathrooms everywhere. When I used to live in my Honda Element, I would use public bathrooms like 100% of the time. It's not hard to find them, and it was never really an issue for me. And even if there's not public bathrooms around, there's always like the woods. But in the van, I wanted to have some sort of like backup. I thought about getting a composting toilet, that seems to be what a lot of other van life people have, but I decided against it because I don't like the idea of carrying pee and poop around in the van. I feel like that's just a recipe for bad smells and I don't want my van to smell bad. So my idea was a bucket. <laughs> so I got this five gallon bucket from the hardware store and then this lid is just like a regular toilet lid. I honestly don't think I'm gonna be using it very often, but if there is like an emergency and I really have to pee in the middle of the night, then I'll probably use that. And then to clean it, I would just dump the pee out in the woods and then take the shower head and just like rinse out the inside of the bucket. Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry if you were expecting something fancier. I like my setup. I think it's very simple and I know it's gonna work for me just fine. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I have one more van build video left and it's basically just me finishing up everything and then moving in. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, okay, that's all. Bye!